thank you very much for taking your time to watch my video in this video i'm going to show you how to manually download and install windows update so i'm going to take you through the general knowledge and everything you need to know about windows update in windows 11. so first of all if i go to my start menu and i go to settings and under settings you will see we have the windows update so here if you want to actually check which update and installed on your device which update have been installed or if you want to manually download updates you will need to go to the windows update in windows 11 settings here you can see we have the option to actually check for updates the last check was actually today so i can actually check to see if there are any new update that needs to be installed on this device so right now it's being checked for updates and mind you you can see we also have the option sometimes if you think you are actually busy using your device and right now you can see we have an update that has been downloaded it has been downloaded but now it is trying to install that is the update from microsoft defender anti virus and the knowledge base for this update is the kb2267602 you can see the installing is 100 percent and the update just got installed so here we can see we can actually pause that update for one week here you can see but you can also pause it for two weeks three weeks four weeks or even five weeks so if for example you are using your device a lot and you don't want an update to be installed because when an update installs sometimes it's going to trigger a restart of your device so if you're in the middle of actually doing a project you want to actually pause this update for like three weeks or more and here we can also check the update history which update has been recently installed on our device so if i go to my update history here you can see all the different updates that have been installed on my device here you can see the quality update that has been installed we can see that an update actually installed just yesterday as a um, cumulative update from microsoft and i think that was a patch tuesday and also we can see that an update was actually installed it's actually installed yesterday and this was actually installed some two three days ago here we can see we also have some definition update you can see that's one of the updates just got installed today that's one of the microsoft defender antivirus update another 13th of 10th 2021 and we have the other update options well, of course we can see that the software removal tool was also installed yesterday so but mind you if for example you there's a specific update that was installed and that update is giving you issue so here you can see we have the uninstall update so if i click on the uninstall update so it's going to take me to the programs and future where we have the option to actually uninstall and update but mind you you can see we have different updates which has been installed on this device and it, you cannot actually uninstall all the updates you can only install some specific update if i click on one of these updates you can see i can uninstall this side second but if i click on this servicing stack you can see i don't have the option to actually uninstall this update but mind you you still have some the option to actually uninstall some update if you know the kb that's the knowledge base number of that update and if i go back again to my windows update and you can see under the windows update we have the advanced options so under the advanced options you can see we can actually receive update for other microsoft products so if you are using a windows 11 device and you want to receive update for example you have like hp printer or other apps or other other hardware you are using on your device you can actually just click this to check this on and by checking this on it actually gives you the option to actually download some other update or you can tell you that other updates are available that you can decide to download it yourself it says restart as soon as possible even during active hours so you can actually pull this on which means that if the update has been installed your device will restart as quick as possible and here you can see we have said download update over method connection so if you are actually on a method connection as on a paid internet connection you're going to actually receive update if this is checked on and here you can see we have the option called the optional update if i click that you can see we have the driver of this so let me just go there you can see we have the vmware um, display to which of course i can download and install if i want to actually download it let me go back again to my advanced option and under the advanced option also we can see we have the delivery optimization here it says the bandwidth limit for update downloads from other device so here you can see it says 
device on my local network or i can actually click the device on the internet and my local network so your pc won't upload content to the other devices on the internet when windows detects you're on a method network and here also we can go to the advanced options so another advanced option we can actually try to modify the download setting if for example you are using a metal network you can actually modify it how many megabytes per seconds your actually the your device can go to the internet and download updates on in the background so all this you can actually configure manually so let me go back again to my advanced options and here you can see we can actually decide to configure our update policy so let me just click the update policy say policies set or your device no policies have been configured yet but mind you at this moment users don't have the choice to actually update or choose a specific update to install sometimes if i go back again to my update here you can see it says check for update sometimes you don't you don't get the option to actually choose which update to install here so most of the time the update actually check download and install so very few options that are update are like for example you have some optional update which will be available then you have the option to download but cumulative update it will actually be downloaded and installed automatically but mind you an administrator can actually manage how updates are installed on your device so an administrator can use for example the endpoint manager configuration manager the Vesus, windows server update service and also we the microsoft intune so all these um configuration all this management tool or the update management tool can be used to actually manage updates on your device and also lastly before i actually round up this video if i go to control panel let me just try to open okay yeah i have the control panel so in the previous version of windows like windows 7 windows 8 here we have the option to actually click to go to like the windows update so at this moment you can see that the windows update has actually disappeared in control panel so you don't have that anymore so microsoft is actually trying to make sure some of these apps or settings you see here have been actually moved to your windows settings so at this moment we don't have the option to actually control our update from the control panel Thank you very much for taking your time to watch this video. My name is Kelvin Johnson. This is actually how you manually download, configure, and all you need to know about Windows updates in Windows 11. And please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more IT videos. So if you have any questions concerning Windows 11, Microsoft Intune, SCCM, Windows Server, you can always send me a personal email. I'm going to leave my email in the description of this video. Or you can actually leave a comment in this video and I will reply to you as quick as possible. Thank you very much and goodbye.